So thank you, Leslie, for all of the wisdom and guidance you provide all of us here in the MAT Cell program. Um, and moreover, thank you to you and your colleagues who have given me the opportunity to uh, address this distinguished group of people today. Um, on behalf of all the graduates, I'd like to make a few more thank yous today. Uh, thank you to all the faculty, uh, those who have shared thoughtful remarks with us here, as well as those who have uh, guided and counseled us throughout the course of our programs. Thank you to the staff who have worked sometimes behind the scenes to keep all the programs running. Uh, yeah. And thank you to all of our loved ones. You know, we all know we don't make it alone. Um, so thanks to those who have been with us forever and those who hope will be with us uh, for the future. Yep. <laughs> thanks, Mom. <laughs> All right, uh, so I'd like to take a moment and reflect on how we've got here, um, where we've come from, and what we all have in common, we the graduates. Uh, at first, it might look like we're a disparate group, the writers, the documentarians, the media professionals, and of course, the teachers. Uh, there might be a gap between the creatives and the visionaries, the pragmatists, the managers, but what unites us is that we've all chosen paths which highlight a shared belief in the importance of bearing witness to the human experience. I also looked back in the New School's history, and I read, you can read on the website, uh, that the founders envisioned a new kind of academic institution where students and faculty could address honestly and directly the issues facing the 20th century. Well, here we are in the 21st century, and maybe the issues have changed, but the need to address them honestly and directly certainly has not. Jane Rule, a Canadian author and advocate for LGBT rights said, if we don't bear witness as citizens, as people, and as individuals, the right that we have had to life is sacrificed. There is a silence instead of a speaking presence. So we, the graduates, are here today because we choose not to sacrifice that right. We have chosen to fill that silence. We have chosen that speaking presence. Some choose to fill it with writing, some with film and video. Uh, some, like the producers and the teachers, choose to help others find their voices. Regardless of how we create that presence, uh, regardless of whether we reach an audience of millions or a few individuals, it's worth all the effort. So where do we go from here? Our education has prepared us to be leaders in our chosen fields. Um, but pre prepared is an interesting word. Uh, I also brushed up and looked at John Dewey, one of our founders uh, and a, a father of uh, progressive education. He says, preparation is a treacherous idea. I'll paraphrase for brevity's sake. He goes on to say, in a certain sense, Every experience should prepare us for later experiences of a deeper and more expansive quality. That is the very meaning of growth, and of course, what we all strive for here. But it is a mistake to suppose that the mere acquisition of a certain amount of knowledge and skills can prepare a person uh, for their use under very different conditions. So if you're like me, my fellow graduates, you may have had moments in this program where you've been overwhelmed by the sheer volume of the information that you've encountered, whether you've been reading or writing or discussing or otherwise engaging with your subject matter. You have this thought, somewhat paradoxical thought, um, that's such a great idea, and I really want to dive in and put every theory into practice. But unfortunately, I'm an overworked grad student, and I can't actually do that. <laughs> so. Bear with me for a moment as the teacher in me makes a, a few recommendations. I hope that I, along with all of you, class of 2015, can take a moment to write down those ideas while they're still fresh in our minds. After we have a much deserved celebration, summer vacation, um, a little bit of a rest, you know, we come back to them. We keep coming back to them. We add to that list and we continue to revisit it. We know that we will never be prepared for every situation we encounter, but we hope that we can use all of the knowledge and experience that, that we've had, and we can approach every new situation with a reflection and think how we can do better. So let's keep up the good work. 
let's continue to bear witness to the challenges our societies face, as well as the beauty and the triumph around us. Let's speak out and fill that silence as we continue to hone our crafts with reflection and care. And most importantly, let's take a vacation this summer because we have all earned it. <laughs> Congratulations to the class of 2015. Thank you.